Okay, so when you get your brain waves to change drastically enough for long enough, a magical transition of neuroscience occurs. This is one of my favorite shirts. We designed it, we owned it, you can buy it. This graphic right here is a representation of brain scans that have occurred in two different time points. This brain scan is just your brain running regular. And this brain scan represents what's happening in your brain when it's under the effect of a particular kind of mushroom. But what you may not know is that your brain makes these type of compounds naturally. And under certain conditions, they get released into your brain, allowing you to experience this naturally. And then your brain starts doing some magical stuff. What happens is that various portions of your brain start talking talking to each other that don't normally talk to each other. And what this does is gives you the experience of learning new stuff that was never really knew it was there the whole time, but you just didn't know it. Now, some other cool stuff happens during this process as well. For instance, your default mode network is thrown into overdrive, which are your ego circuits, to the point that a glutamatergic storm occurs. Now, glutamate is a neurotransmitter that usually helps brain firing, but when it gets dumped in massive amounts in certain areas of the brain, it actually burns out connections, overdriving them and shutting them off. But when your default mode network circuits are burned out because of the glutamate, you might experience something called ego death. Now, during this time oxytocin is also dumped into your system. They call it the love hormone. It's a connectivity hormone. It allows you to make connections to new things, new people, new ideas. When you fall in love, it's all about oxytocin. And the oxytocin comes in on the back end, allowing you to connect to the extremely profound experience that you just had because of the new brain weight of activity that's going on. Now, you don't need an external compound to get your brain into this space. Yes, religions have used these compounds for centuries, for millennia. Go read The Immortality Key by Brian Murarescu. Christianity, I'm looking at you. They scraped the pottery from ancient Christian rituals. Turns out ancient Christians spiked the wine with brain vitamins for community. To drink the blood of Christ to become one with Christ? That's a real thing, but not with the wine you're drinking, though. You can actually have this experience naturally by practicing disciplines that change the patterns in your brain until enlightenment occurs. Now, in the next video, we're going to talk about what it's like to go through an enlightenment experience and the things that become unlocked afterwards thanks to the neuroscience we're now just starting to understand. But there's neuroscience and you can develop superpowers, which really, come on, is just a relative term based on what we can normally do, which is not a whole lot, versus what you can do after the transition and the reorganization of your brain, which seems super powerful. Negative emotions don't affect you as much anymore. People can't manipulate you anymore including governments, media outlets, propagandists, gaslighters, they all become powerless against the strength of your new mind. So it's definitely something you got to do for yourself. And thankfully, we now know how. Go ahead and hit the buttons over here. You can always unsubscribe later.